If you get out only one thing from this video, let it be this. Never put your tent or other heavy items in the upper part of your backpack. My friend fell down from the mountain right in front of me because he made this mistake. It was only thanks to huge luck that nothing bad happened. And this was not the only occasion when I saw people rolling down the mountain with backpacks on their back. So let's see the things to consider. We want to pack our backpack considering three principles. Stability, accessibility of the gear and comfort. Comfort is easy to understand. If your backpack is heavy, no matter how you pack it, how you adjust it and how good the backpack is, it will be uncomfortable in the long run. Of course, stability also plays a role here. So in conclusion, comfort equals weight plus stability. What about stability? The backpack you see on my back is the first big backpack we bought 15 years ago for backpacking trips. It's also the only backpacking pack I own. This is the only one I have used since then for all my backpacking trips. This is a backpack made by the Polish brand High Mountain, the model name is K2 and it's an 80 liter backpack. When I first went into the store and said that I wanted an 80 liter backpack, they looked at me like I was coming from Mars. But I never regretted that decision because like this I was not forced to hang a lot of stuff on the outside of the pack like I'm doing right now. But why is this bad? Well, if it's a nice, wide, well-maintained tray, then it doesn't matter. But when it gets bushy, it already becomes harder to go forward and on difficult, rocky, technical terrain, it's already dangerous because these things that are hanged outside the backpack can hit any time a rock at a critical step. You could say that you can also hang stuff outside the backpack vertically so it doesn't go out laterally but this doesn't solve every problem because when going on a steep descent when making a big step down you will hit the lower part of the backpack to the ground. In conclusion my recommendation is to buy a backpack which is big enough so you can put all your stuff inside. This way it will be more more comfortable, more stable and you will be safer on the trail. Of course this depends a lot on the conditions you are backpacking in. If you are going only to weekend trips at low elevations of course you won't need 80 liters but I tend to go on four, five or six day trips at high altitudes in the Romanian Carpathians so I need a good tent, a good sleeping bag and a good mattress and more food which is of course heavier and bigger. I regularly camp above 2000 meters so a big storm can hit anytime and the temperatures can be freezing even in the middle of the summer. So I must pack almost as if I would pack for winter camping. Another thing to consider regarding stability is to have the center of weight right above our heels no matter how much we lean forward. So as you can see for this we need to pack the heaviest things as closer to our back and to our scapula as possible. As the things get lighter and lighter they need to be packed farther and farther away from this center layer by layer. Obviously we also want to be balanced left to right so don't pack a lot of heavy things only on one side of the backpack. Try to make it as balanced as possible. What about the balance between the lower and the upper part of the backpack? By the layer approach explained earlier it should be about equal but it's not exactly like that. Let's see why. If I have something quite heavy on the upper part of the backpack and I start leaning forward it will make me roll down the mountain or if I lean backward the same could happen to the back. If I have something heavy on the lower part it's more likely for me just to sit down if it pulls me down or just to fall on my knees. So because of that if we have a choice I would rather put heavier things on the lower part and not the upper part and that's the reason for the tip I gave in the intro. What about the accessibility of the gear? Of course there's some gear we want to access quite quickly. Let's see what are these. The first category is the gear we need for our personal safety. This is the bear spray if you need one, an ultrasound device against dogs if you you need one and electronic devices by which you can call for help. So a satellite device and your mobile phone. Also in the first category is the first aid kit. At one time I needed to bandage someone's hand on the rocks because she cut it on some cables. The second category is the gear which we need to react to the change of the weather. So your rain jacket, your puffy jacket, a wind jacket and even more importantly for myself a pair of gloves and a buff. In the mountains weather can change quite quickly, fog can come in, wind can pick up or rain can start. Because of that it's good to have all this stuff in an accessible spot in your backpack. The third category is the gear that we need to answer the call of nature. So a shit kit that is toilet paper, wet wipes, 
wipes and an antibacterial gel and of course water and food that we eat during the day. So let's see how we can apply these principles in practice. As we discussed, we need to put the heaviest things as close to our back and scapula as possible. Usually the heaviest things in your backpack will be the water, the food and the poles and packs of your tent if you have those. If you use a hydration bladder it will be automatically the closest to your back because usually the backpacks have a special pouch for that and then you should try to pack your food and the poles and packs of your tent also as close to your back as possible. Then there's usually a special pocket on the lower part of your backpack where you can put your sleeping bag. That's also where I put my first aid kit so I can access it quickly and also where I put my sleeping clothes inside the dry bag so I can keep them dry all the time. On the upper part of the main compartment I usually put my puffy jacket and my rain jacket so I can access it quickly. It's quite tempting to put a lot of stuff inside the brain of your backpack but I don't recommend it because when you need something it's quite difficult to find it inside the brain when there's a lot of stuff inside. You could put there some bars that you eat during the day but a better place for that could be the pockets on the hip bat if you have those unfortunately I don't. Usually I keep my phone inside the pocket of my pants but if I don't have pockets then I try to keep it somewhere as close to my hands because I also use it to film with my adventures. In these two front pockets I carry the ultrasound device against the docks, a pair of gloves and a buff. If you want to know how to adjust your backpack you will find the answer here and if you're interested in all the gear I have packed for a four-day backpacking trip you will find the answer in this video.